My name is Logan, and welcome to Logan's Story. Uh, sorry I have not been posting for a while. I'm sorry. Uh, I kind of left you hanging with the dormitory noon and the room interview kind of thing. Uh, but to be real with you, I've just been busy. And to be also real with you, I've been really depressed lately. Uh, I'm trying to seek help for that, uh, you know, talking to the therapist at my school and things like that. Uh, so I'm just kind of figuring myself out. I actually made a plan to literally go from uh, on Tuesday, Thursday, those were going to be my kind of my uploading video days. And then Friday was going to be my going to Disneyland day. And then Sunday was also going to be upload Disney day. So basically I was going to do Tuesday, Thursday with videos. And then Friday I was going to go to Disneyland or do something else that day if I couldn't go to Disneyland and upload it on Sunday. So you were going to see like Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday uploads. So that means I would do videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and I was just thinking to myself, I really, my, my schedule is so inconsistent, I can't really, I don't really know if I can do that. So, uh, that's just kind of an update. Um, so I'm going to try to shoot for Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Maybe Saturday as my, as my, uh, uploading days. Uh, so we're basically kind of, kind of do that. And that's going to be what this channel is going to be basically about. I'm going to try to keep a consistency somehow, and I'm going to try to do it from today on. Um, I, 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 I'm going to literally leave myself notes saying, don't forget to shoot today, don't forget to shoot today, don't forget you have this, don't forget you have that. Um, so it's just basically keeping myself busy, feel? So uh, that's kind of what's going to happen. So um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's all the update I wanted to give you. Uh, yeah, so let's get into the video. So today, uh, I basically wanted to talk about a book series that I feel like is literally dying out, and it's just because it has no, it has no followers. It doesn't have the followers that this book series has, or this book series has, you feel? And the book series I'm talking about is a little book series by Ridley Pearson called Kingdom Keepers. Now, if you don't know what Kingdom Keepers is, I'm not going to waste your time. Actually, I'm going to waste all your time. And I'm going to let you know what this book is about. Okay? If you're a Disney fan, you'll be sold on these books. Because there's a bunch of references and things about the park throughout the whole book series that are amazing. So, uh, let's get into it. So, I want to talk to you about the first book. The first book is about a boy named Finn who finds himself awake in the, basically the um, Main Street USA in Disney World. He's laying down on a bench next to a flagpole and he sees this old man come to him and this old man is named Wayne. He's one of the Imagineers. He, not really one of the Imagineers, but like he was, was an Imagineer and he comes to him and he kind of gives him a 411 of what's going on around him. So, with that being said, it goes on this whole trailing fact of how these things called the DHIs, which stands for either Daylight Hologram Imaging or Disney Host Interactive, uh, both intertwine with one another. That will lead five kids plus about two more kids, and then a couple more people down the line as the book goes on, or the, as the series goes on, into this frenzy going around the parks, going around the cruise ships, going around everything, going even around islands. You believe that? Islands. Some people are lost, some people are found, and it's just amazing. But, but this first book has a lot of weight to it, and it's the reason why it's the start of the series, because everything after that just leads into this mayhem of just crazy stuff happening, and then it leads even to, even to a couple deaths. Uh, but we won't get into that right now. There's the first book, there's seven books in total. They're all by Ridley Pearson. And they basically go into detail of these five kids and their basic adventures around the park. Like it's like a what if motive. Like what if you got five sponsors, five kids sponsors to walk around the park and be like Disney characters. 
five kids that you didn't know from any Disney movie or anything like that. They were just five kids who had this kind of figure. They were figures in the park, you know, and they were everywhere, you know. That was kind of like the what if factor of it. But also, what if the biggest what if of all of all is what if you were stuck in the park alone or alone maybe at night when everyone leaves? Think do things come to life? Do things not come to life? What goes on? And thus comes the basic plot of the book. The plot basically is these five teenagers, five kids, whatever, what have you, have to fight the things that come alive in the park at night. Pirates, space aliens, uh, Maleficent, any of the villains. You hear what I'm saying? Like anything that has any relevance to old, new, or even current things in Disney in terms of character, those are the things that you either have to ally with or fight with. You feel what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy how the first book is though. And I'll just talk about the first book to get you interested. Uh, so basically this first book starts out with Finn on the bench right next to a flagpole meeting Wayne. They go down the line of what's going on, how what it has to do with everything, how he's here but he's not here kind of thing, how he's like a hologram, how this all works out, okay? Then it goes into detail with uh, him waking up and basically going on his day and going to the park and uh, meeting his other you know, host. So this is where he meets Maybeck, my man Maybeck, that's my dude, uh, Philby. And they talk about, they go into character detail about their lives. You know, and that's the whole detail they go into from then on and then on. So Maybeck and, and Philby are the two people he meets. Now, there's also a girl named Charlene, and there's also a girl named Willa. So these five, so Finn, Maybeck, Philby, Charlene, and Willa are the five Disney host interactives in the park. Okay, and basically what, what, it's like what they do. It's like Disney host interactive. They're hosting the park. That's what they do. And because they're hosting the park, they're seen quite frequently around the park. So therefore, there's set, there's set up rules for these kids as they go through their everyday routine of being on the job at Disney. So like, they can't be at Disney some days, and sometimes they can, and you know, it's a very, very kind of crazy time. But... The thing is, when you go through this kind of book, it's kind of crazy how everything turns out the way it does. So as soon as we meet the five hosts, basically how this goes is they find themselves in this kind of weird position of getting to know each other and, you know, finally kind of getting to that point. But then you come to the point of the book where they, like, all fall asleep and they all find themselves within the park. That, like, you don't understand, if this were a movie or, like, a show on Disney+, Plus, that point of, like, them all showing up in the park at the same time, that's like the Avengers meeting up in the, in the, in the same point at the same time. That's like your full, like, here, here you are kind of thing. Um, but from that point on, we see these five teenagers go through the park and they're unexperienced, they don't know what to do, they don't know where to go, blah 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 blah, but we have Wayne, okay? Wayne is like the G when it comes to things like this. And they're, he's their mentor throughout this whole process. So they go through this, they go through that, they fight this, they fight that, they go through all this stuff, and then they find themselves face to face with the ultimate villain. You know who this villain is? That it's This is the ongoing villain throughout the book, the, the series. The main villain in this is, of course, Maleficent. Come face to face. Before we go into that, there's these crazy, wonderful worlds within the park that they find themselves to get stuck in, but they need extra help. So who do they meet? Jez. Jez is part of the Fairlies. They're not normal. They're kind of. They're realistically what you would call. I don't, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen The Matrix, but there's this place in The Matrix where Neo goes, where there's very, very interesting kids in that sense of uh, this kind of adoption orphanage or whatever it's called. 
and they have fairly weirdly strange capabilities. Jez has a fairly weird capability that makes her different from everyone else. But they kind of don't realize it until closer to the end of the book. So, this... Let's just call her... Actually, she's not even into this. So anyway, there's this very, very elaborate plan. Because they're being stoked over by overtakers. That's what these, that's what these, these bad guys are called. They're called the overtakers. Because they overtake everything in the park and their plan is to take over the world kind of thing. Um, the thing is, they get so hounded by the overtakers that they have to develop a plan. Now, of course, Finn the leader and Maybeck, my boy, my boy Maybeck, uh, they are fighting and they fight and they fight, um, and they just get tired out until they come up with a plan. And the plan is to use Jez as this sort of fighter. Um, and Jez, at the end of the book, basically ends up her hair goes from, I think it's what the color, black to white, and she goes up as she turns into this form figure, and she just annihilates and just takes over everything. She just becomes this power source that no one has ever seen before, and she just she, all the overtakers kind of scared by her light move away, and they just kind of go away, and then that's kind of the end. Of the overtakers but is it because at the end of the book we see them reuniting kind of coming together as a group and they they kind of think they're done you know you know and then that is kind of like a melancholy thing because you're done reading the book it's like one of those things where it's like wow you know I recommend the first book I'm going to go through this trend, I'm going to reread every every one of the book, and then I'm going to review it, and then that's kind of what this is, the home vlogs are going to be, and then that'll be the Tuesday home vlogs, and then Thursday, I'll do something Thursday, I don't know. My little take on it, and the reason why I wanted to put this in segments, is I want to talk about the book first, and I want to talk about the possibility of be, it being a movie. So here's my take on why it should and may or may not work as a movie. Okay, so the first thing is, the books are very dated. The books feature a lot of things like, like DS's and a lot of things that are just way too dated for that time. You could, tef you could definitely tell the books were written in early 2000s. Like, okay, for me, I love the books. I really do. I think they're great stories. But the dialogue in it, the way the characters speak, is a little kind of... It's... It's a little cheesy, just the way it speaks. So if it were to be made into a film today, a lot of things that were dated would have to be changed into what we know now. Even Some of the language, I think, would have to be changed in order to kind of fit how we talk now. But here's the thing. Maybe there's a reason why it's dated in those times. The other problem is the shooting on a large location like Disney World for seven books that is going to be really complicated but we're talking about different camera angles we're talking about master shots we're talking about days months hours on set shooting multiple takes and then the visual effects on it have to be almost stupendous you know, and then the actors and actresses, all that's going to play together. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You know what I mean? But the reason I think it could be a movie is because it's a very different take on movies. If you were to take five teenagers plus two more, plus a multitude of other characters that are featured in these books, if you were to take all of that and put it into the sense of Hollywood medium, I th I think if it's done right, it would 
rival a lot of shows. If it's let's just say if it's a Disney Plus original, even that, I think it would do pretty well. I really do. I think it would do pretty well. Um, I want to reread the books again. I'm really thinking about this, and I'm re really looking at this, and I really want to make some sort of short film dedicated to the first scene in the book. You know what I mean? Just to kind of get it out of the way, to see where it goes. Um, I think that would be really cool. I think these could be movies, and I think these could be even shows. Even like, kind of like a Stranger Things feel, you know what I mean? But more in detail, kind of. Um, also, I think one more reason why I think it wouldn't work as I'm moving going like counter point counterpoint here is because it's flooded with Disney. Okay? I think me, I think Disney is amazing and I do not care if it's flooded with Disney. But when we're talking to, about a regular person who wants to watch a movie, like when I think of a movie, I want everyone from all walks of the world to enjoy the movie. I want people who love horror movies to come in, action movies to come in, romance movies to come in. Every single person, I want them to enjoy this movie for what it is. Not because it's a Disney flick or whatever. I want them to enjoy the movie for what it is. Or the show for what it is. So, if it's not done right. If you just pinpoint every single Disney character and stuff like that. Like, okay, let me let me get this straight. Let me put it this way. In terms of, to get, in terms of the horror factor, there's a part in the book where... I'm not going to spoil it for you. But let's just say It's a Small World is... Dastardly small for the way these little dolls are asking are acting. Let's just say that. Uh, yeah, so I just want to kind of put that out there. And one more reason why I think it would work is because there's certain elements in these books that don't fit the Disney narrative. So therefore, it would fit Disney audiences for those for those reasons. But it also fits some people who realistically don't have a liking for Disney but have a th liking for things like Joker or things like It or things like uh, uh, Avengers even though that's technically I mean Disney distributed it but what I'm saying is if you make a Keenan Keepers movie just like the books it has to understand all walks of life like for instance the third book probably my favorite out of every single one of them because it goes in the grounds of Epcot and it features all these villains that I've never heard before um, but one second, hang on. don't you hate it when you get scams let me answer real quick hang on hola 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 Here's a little trick for scams. Um, speak in a different language. It throws him the freak off. Just speak in a different language. It's, it's fine. He was like, I was like, oh, 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 and he didn't. No one answered. No one answered. It's funny. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of my overview on the book, on why it could be a movie, and why I think at the end of the day, if it is a movie or a show or like a Disney original on Disney Plus, I think if it's done, if it's taken care of, and you don't, and here's the thing, you can't do lazy writing on things like this. Like, you can't just be like, right, 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 oh, script's done. No, this is gonna take, honestly, constant rewrites. Constant rewrites. You can't be doing lazy writing, is what I'm saying. So, to kind of end this video, I think it can be done. I think it's possible that it can be done. I think that if you take a new direction and don't do what every other movie or TV show is doing, it'll be a really, really solidified, really great picture, really great TV show. That's it. That's all I want to talk about. Um, I appreciate you guys coming and watching my videos. Thank you for 50 subscribers! <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Um, keep showing the love. Uh, more videos on the way. Um, 
hopefully there's gonna be another video even today there's gonna be a two video thing I want to talk about two things I'm just gonna take a break because I was thinking about this whole day and I was planning it and it just happened so I was happy when it happened uh, maybe I'll just put a video from a long time ago in I have a lot of videos that I have stored up on this camera that I can put in so uh, I'll see you guys later and you guys have a really great day, really great week, and, but yeah, I'll see you guys later, and have a great day, blessed week, blessed month, blessed year, and peace out, fools! It's been Logan's story. Peace.